All right, here's the secret to making a crushed velvet material in Substance Painter. Start by making a fill layer, pick a nice deep saturated color, crank the metalness all the way up and increase the roughness to maybe 0.5 or 0.6, it's up to you. In the normal channel, add a flakes texture. The flakes are too big though, so let's increase the tiling. Let's also add a blur filter to soften them out a bit. Okay, now for the secret ingredient. Add a fill layer to the velvet layer and turn off all the channels except normal. In the normal channel, add a grunge texture like this concrete dusty. This looks terrible. You're not supposed to put grayscale textures in the normal channel, but velvet is weird and also YOLO. Turn down the opacity of the grunge to blend it in. Now duplicate the entire layer, pick a lighter blue color, change the scale of the flakes and the grunge, add a fill mask to this new layer, and choose a high frequency grunge. Duplicate the layer again, pick another shade of blue, change up all your grunge textures just like before, and then duplicate the layer one last time and repeat all the previous steps. But this time, pick the lightest blue yet. Inside the mask for this new layer, delete your grunge texture, add a generator and pick curvature. Fiddle with the curvature settings to really isolate those edges. Looking good. But let's break this up by adding a fill to the mask and picking another grunge which is mostly white. Set that to multiply to break up the edges. Add another fill and pick another grunge which looks mostly black. Set that one to screen. And now you've got a really cool crushed velvet material. I added stars to mine to make it look like a wizard robe. If you want to learn how to do that, check out our full clothing tutorial over on our channel. And once you're done, you can apply these textures to our characters over on character.productioncrate.com. This is our brand new tool that lets you assemble characters using outfits from RenderCrate and download them for your own projects. You can even apply animations from Mixamo. If you make a cool velvet texture or anything else really, be sure to share it with us. We want to see your cool creations.